my name's Jeff Maynard and I'm a stud cattle breeder in central Queensland, um, which some people say is the engine room of the Australian beef industry. Currently the debate over cows and carbon focuses on their exhaust emissions, methane. I'd like to take people on a holistic look of the whole carbon cycle for beef production. Uh, we just want to put a visual display of 30 seconds, 60 seconds of how cows graze carbon into food. We put the time-lapse camera in in November and it went for 12 months where it took a snapshot every 20 minutes. So it went through summer, autumn, winter, spring um, and, and gave an all good outlook as to what a normal seasonal cycle would be. The paddock on the left hand side of the shot was grazed uh, regularly and the paddock on the right hand, right hand side was left fallow. By running cattle on these uh, grasslands, which in most cases cannot be used for any other type of production, they're grazing carbon into food. 100% of their diet is stored carbon. Grass is essentially stored carbon, it's sequestered carbon, and um, that is 100% of their diet. So carbon is, is involved in producing all those products, meat, methane and manure. And uh, I think the beef industry could be credited with the other two byproducts, especially meat and uh, manure that it puts back into the soil. We wanted to show that if you actually took cows out of the environment, what would happen? Um, at the end of the experiment, uh, a fire came across um, and we actually highlighted in the area where there was no cows, how much of that carbon actually billowed into the atmosphere. Certainly in Northern Australia, the amount of bushfires and fires uh, that happen, even with cattle being grazed is enormous. So take those cattle out of the equation and the amount of billions and billions of tonnes that would be admitted is enormous. So next time somebody bangs on about beef's carbon footprint, just remind them that cattle are Mother Nature's carbon capture technology as well as a terrific source of protein for the world.